Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Arneson and I am here to talk to you in this video about turning off notifications so you don't get a billion messages from school that you don't want or really anywhere else. Um, so we found out that you guys were having trouble feeling like your inboxes were too full and too busy to like pay attention to the emails that are actually about school. So I wanted to show you a couple of um, ways to get your mailbox to have fewer things in it. So for example, a long time ago I, I got something from overstock.com and they are still sending me these emails like literally every day. So I'm going to go ahead and unsubscribe to this. And the way you do that is you open up the email and you go all the way to the bottom. And then you can go to view entire message maybe. If it doesn't show it to you, it usually will, but this one clipped it off. So I, you have to look in the bottom and you have to like find out where their unsubscribe is. And a lot of times it's really easy. Oh look, this one's nice and big. So I'm going to click on unsubscribe. It's going to take me to another page. I have to decide what I want to get rid of. So I can either look at each of these categories and do that that way, or I can just say unsubscribe from all and then save changes. And now overstock.com will not send me emails anymore, which is great because I don't want them. <clears throat> you guys get to see the inner workings of Miss Arneson's email for this activity. Okay, let's look at another one from um, Google Classroom. So Google Classroom can send you a billion um, a billion things, but you can click on an email from Google Classroom and you can click on unsubscribe just like we did with the company email earlier. It'll take you to this page where you can turn on or off the certain ones you want. Now, um, I personally check mine every single day. So I turn off all of my notifications because I log in and I literally check it not just one time a day, but several times. If you're not going to do that, I wouldn't recommend unsubscribing from everything because then you won't get anything from the, from the class. Um, and then you'll be like, I like forget about it maybe. I mean, hopefully you don't forget about school, but you're more likely to if you're not getting any sort of um, information. So comments on your post, comments that mention you, private comments on work. I don't, um, I would unsubscribe if I was a student, I would recommend these top two um, because a lot of times you don't make a post, right? And in, unless you have a discussion class, in which case you could leave this one on. Um, if you have private comments on work, that means that your teacher is giving you feedback. And so I would leave that one on because sometimes you turn something in, but you forgot to attach and the teacher's trying to get you a message. So maybe leave that one on. And then invitations to join classes as a student. So you can even, if, if you've turned this one off, your teachers can't send you an invite. So I would recommend leaving that one on. If you don't want it to remind you when there's a due date, turn it off. If you don't want it to let you know when work is graded, turn it off. Okay, so you can go through and kind of select what you want the most. Now, let's say that you've already unsubscribed from everything, but you're like, hey, I want to know if there's comments on my work or I want to know if I'm getting invited to a class because I thought my teacher told me they invited me, but I never got the invite. You can still change these settings from inside Google Classroom itself. So you don't need an email to access it. What you do is you click on the three lines, the main menu, and you go down to the bottom and you click on your settings. There's not actually very many settings for you to work on. You can change your profile picture, but that's about it besides the notifications. So you can still access that same menu about notifications right from the classroom settings. Um, if you are feeling like you're getting too many apps on your, or too many um, notifications on your phone, then you can probably on the Google Classroom app, change the settings on your phone so you don't get notifications all the time. Now, uh, you shouldn't turn your notifications off unless you are going to check your profile every day because we do have, or every school day at least, Monday through Thursday. But I hope that information is helpful and kind of clears out your mailbox, not only for the stuff your teachers are sending you, but then you can get out the things that you just had to put an email down to sign up for something and you don't want those emails anymore. Have a great holiday week.